What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, and boy, are things hectic right now. <laughs> Here's an idea of how hectic things are. I know that everybody's been complaining that, where's the FXR? Why haven't you started on the FXR project? Why haven't you started putting the 113 in there? People are just jumping down Shaylisi's throat. Why isn't the Green Goblin done? Let me tell you, I am on my way to Amazon Rubber and Hose right now to pick up her front brake lines. Now, I had to get front brake lines specifically made for her bike because the ones that we had weren't working and they were gonna be ready the next day. I made a video when I went there to drop them off. Now, I'm going to go pick them up even though they were ready the next day. This is the first opportunity that I've had time to go to Amazon Rubber and Hose, which is only a few miles away from my house in a month. It is one month later, and I finally have time to go to Amazon Rubber and Hose to pick up a part that was ready 24 hours after I dropped it off. Speaking of Brapsar Garage and working on bikes, I haven't even been there in a month, except for when I was there to film a live stream. Just an absolutely insane amount of things going on. Not all of them bad. Obviously, the Texas Moto Meet and riding all the way to Texas, that was a fun thing. I wanted to do that. I had an awesome time hanging out with everybody there, uh, but it, it, it take, took up a huge chunk of time. On top of that, I'm in the process of moving the shop Goblin from New York City to Tampa, which uh, is a pretty involved process. I mean, it's taking a human being, three cats, and all their belongings, and moving them all the way across the country. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world. <laughs> On top of that, <laughs> the house that we got for shop Goblin wasn't exactly move-in ready, and still isn't. So I've been over there putting up fences, fixing stuff at the house, cleaning everything out of it because it was full, absolutely chock full with stuff and all the bathrooms were disgusting. But tail 666, Marley's been helping me. Nico's been helping me. We're getting the house ready, but it just takes a lot of work. And Shop Goblin is moving down here. She's moving to Tampa specifically to help me with Brap Star Garage and help me with the Shade Tree Surgeon channel and the Shay Lisi channel and be a part of the team. She's moving down here to help us. But getting her down here is an event, let me tell you, and it's taking up a lot of my time. But that's okay because it's a big priority of mine because my priority is to have her down here, uh, not only because I care about her, but also because she's going to be helping us out with all this stuff. On top of that, I will be flying to New Orleans this Monday because I have a very close friend of mine who I'm not going to name and whose situation I'm not going to talk about who was involved in an incredibly tragic situation a horrendous life-changing scenario and now they have to very suddenly in the middle of the night move back to Tampa so <laughs> I'm flying out to New Orleans to in the in the dead of the night steal somebody away and move them back to Tampa in a moving truck on top of the fact that as most of you guys know I run a business full-time on top of the fact that I still create two videos a week no matter what <laughs> on top of on top, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at this one but on top of as I've said in other videos uh, on my father who I do not have a good relationship with and I do not get along with uh, who just mentally and physically abused me my entire life but it's a whole story for another day <laughs> but on top of that he is in I talk, I made a video talk talking about how he's very sick and he's actually dying. Well, he's not dead yet, which means he's still dying. I think that sometimes I make the video and people are like, oh man, that's sad, that sucks. And then they kind of assume like, oh, like he's dead now. Like, no, he's still alive. He's just still in the process of being in hospice. <laughs> like it's not, it doesn't just happen. Like the video doesn't happen and then it's over. This is still in the process of happening. So all this going on, a uh, couple of the fact that for some reason, my body still needs to eat a couple times a day and sleep at least five or six hours a night, which is very inconvenient. Cause if I just had that time to get stuff done, I would be doing a lot better. They need to make their days 30 hours long. So this is now, it sounds like I'm complaining and I'm going, and I know what people will say. They'll say uh, like, Hey, don't worry about us. Don't worry about the builds. Just focus on your life and get stuff done. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate it when people say that. I appreciate it when people who love the content we make here and who appreciate the channel and enjoy it. I love it when they're so understanding. They're like, Hey, do you do what you got to do? Uh, don't worry about like, Oh, who cares if the green goblin's not done yet? And FXR is not done yet. Let me tell you. So all this other stuff that's happening, like, even though I want to get it done and it's taking up a lot of my time, 
um, the Green Goblin and the FXR, like building those bikes and getting those ready, that's what I want to do. So it's one of those things where it's not like, oh man, I'm so busy and I've got all this like life changing, sad and 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 horrible and 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 very stressful stuff going on. Like I couldn't possibly also like lay down for you guys and build these bikes. Oh my God, you demanding people. I couldn't, I have to build these bikes. No, this is what I want to do. I want to get those bikes running. I want my FXR back. I, wa I want to work on the Green Goblin with Shay Lisi. That's the stuff I want to do. That's the stuff that brings me joy. That's the stuff that keeps me grounded. The challenging things I actually enjoy doing. So it's not like I'm saying I don't have time for this stuff. I'm just saying like, hey, I'm trying to do it too. Like you guys say you want it, you want to see it. That's what I want too. <laughs> it's just a lot of other stuff going on. I'm, I'm trying to get to it because it's what makes me happy happy as well. All right, Amazon hose uh, in this wild world of crazy stuff, at least there's something you can depend on. And it's these guys to build an awesome freaking product. These are way, way sturdier and way, way better than that cheapo crap that I got from Drag Specialties. And now a month later, now, uh, hopefully, now I just need to find the time to, for me and Shay Lisi to go there and actually start putting her sportster back together and get into a state where it's actually goes forward and stops at the same time. That stopping part, rather important. I think a lot of people, when I talk about how little time I have and what a crunch I'm in all the time, I think they, they think that I'm, I'm bitching about that because because <laughs> I also when I say, oh, I don't want to work on these bikes. Like, no, that is so absolutely not the case, man. That's all I want to do. I just have to get, like, my real responsibilities done first because, to me, that's fun. To you guys, it's also co content, and it's also fun. Like, it's that's not any different for me. That's the, that's the most fun I have. Man, working on bikes and getting them all running again, that's, that's the kind of stuff that keeps me sane. And I've been feeling very insane lately been really missing my fxr shaylee you think you think shaylee she, she wants to ride the green goblin she wants to ride it but she's going to school full time she's just as busy as i am and again she likes doing this stuff she wants to do this stuff as much as you guys want to see it is as hard as we're trying to do it because that's the stuff that also makes us happy part of what i'm trying to do is make everything a little more streamlined because i couldn't do this without my friends like the the amount that marley tail 666 is helping me the amount that Shaylisi is helping me, the amount that Nico is helping me. Like I've got all these awesome people on my Shelby, the amount that Shelby's helped me. I've got all these awesome people on my side and Flip too, who are helping me uh, not only run the Dirty Shame, run a business, but do Brapstar Garage to make these videos and all the other personal stuff that's happening in my life too. They, they all help with that as well. I couldn't do it without them. And right now we're all working together to get the Shop Goblin down here because it's like, I'll tell you, the Shop Goblin is like the missing piece of the puzzle that we're just going to plug in and hopefully make things a lot easier not just for me but for everybody because as you guys know marley and nico and shaylisi they don't just help us make videos they don't just help us at brapstar garage uh, they all work at the dirty shame too like the pub like we're we're all kind of this like little happy family that all that all works together and makes videos together and half of us live together at any given night you'll walk up to the dirty shame and tail 666 marley is bartending nico's working the door i'm bartending shay lisi is hanging out like flip is hanging out and flip half the time flips working at the bar too he's working there this friday like i said we all work together we all play together and we're all trying to get into a place where we can make the, our lives a little bit smoother because nobody does it alone and if i had to do this alone if i had to do all this stuff that i'm talking about all by myself I would lose my freaking mind. There's no way I could do this alone. I am one part of a team, and it's a team that I need and a team that I rely on literally every single day. And it's not just the team to make videos, because I said, we're all living our lives and running businesses and dealing with, with drama and trauma and heartache and wins and losses and happiness and celebration and, and all these things put together. But uh, it's a good thing. It makes me happy. So. Right now, I'm heading home to unfortunately drop off the Bangkok bag or the old mail order glide because I got to get my truck and head over, <laughs> head over to Shop Goblin's house with Marley and get back to work getting that place ready because that is uh, one of the number one priorities right now. Oh, I love it. Biker boys out starting shit on a hot summer day. I love it. 
I wish I was going out to have fun. I mean, I'm going out to accomplish. I'm going out to, to get this house ready and work on it and do stuff. And, and I feel a, a large sense of accomplishment from that. So it's not like it's work I don't want to do. It's not like it's work without reward. I do find reward in labor. So but this is stuff that makes me happy, trust me. I can find happiness just about anywhere if I look hard enough. Y'all, it's the next day. I just crossed into the Alabama state line and I am in a budget rent a truck heading back to Tampa from New Orleans. Like I said, uh, when a friend calls you and experiences a pretty insane tragedy and they say, uh, can you help me move back to Tampa right now because I'm uh, having a very bad time, you know what? You get up and you do it because that's what friends are for. I'm not super close with my family. I don't ever plan on having kids, but like I always say, friends are the family you choose, so I always try to be there for mine. Funny enough that I'm headed back on I-10 again after just doing this a couple weeks ago, and I swear that I swore up and down that I would never drive to New Orleans again. Well, I guess I'm gonna drive there and flew there and I'm driving back, but uh, you know, the universe has a funny way of making me do things that I just, that I swear I'm never gonna do again very shortly after I make a solemn oath to never do them again. So I'm heading back to Tampa. This is a boring drive uh, in a car. Uh, I mean, I, it's a boring drive on a motorcycle too, although I'd much rather be on a motorcycle doing this, but <laughs> there we go. And by the way, budget rented trucks, they limit their cars to 75 miles an hour. So it's making for some pretty interesting passing situations right here. Anyway, about nine hours left of this. See y'all back in Tampa. It is yet a further day on this video that is taking quite some time to finish. As you see, I still have a budget rental truck full of somebody else's stuff in my yard. But as they say, or as my grandpa always used to say, better make hay while the sun shines. I got a little bit of time today. I got a box full of Sportster parts. And <laughs> Shelby's at the shop, and I think we're going to take advantage of it. And when I say something like, let's make hay while the sun shines, it sounds like it's work. But as I said earlier in the video, going to the shop and working on the Sportster and getting the lift ready for the FXR and the Triumph chopper that's what i want to be doing <laughs> so basically what i'm doing right now is you know i was i was complaining earlier how i didn't have any time and i actually really don't losing a whole day to drive a moving truck back from new orleans was it's just catastrophic for me like you guys have no idea how catastrophic it is to lose an entire day but we're gonna make the most of it. I want to go to the shop today. I want to go work on the Sportster. You know, it's, it's Shay Lisi's project, that's for sure, but it, right now it's taking up lift space. So, uh, <laughs> as I always say, nobody does everything, nobody does anything alone, okay? Everybody has help, and Shay Lisi's gonna get a little help from me and Shelby today. And big, big thanks to Shelby, because he's the one who, he's actually moving today. He goes like, yeah, I'm moving today, but um, I'm not moving till later. So, uh, I'll, I'll swing by the shop and we can work on the sports there for a little bit. Talk about the real MVP here. Okay, before we head up to Brapsar Garage and see Shelby for a little bit of Green Goblin action. A bike that hasn't been seen on the channel in quite some time. Not because we don't want to work on it. We're going to swing by the ride factory and pick up some stuff we need. As always, my man Alex, uh, DA Diplomats, help me out. And uh, like I always tell you guys, they work on just about everything. When I say just about everything, I mean everything here at the Ride Factory. So you ain't got to worry about having an electric bike or having a Harley or having an Iron Head or a Goldman or anything like that. These guys will take care of it. Like I always say, when it comes to buying parts, support your local motorcycle shop because guess what? They answer the phone. Amazon doesn't. Good folks up there at the Ride Factory. They always take care of me. And for those wondering, yes, Shelby used to work at the Ride Factory, but he doesn't work there anymore. But there are no hard feelings and no ill will. Everybody's still friends. Up to Brapshaw Garage now. The Sportster runs. It runs just fine. Uh, the problem is, is it doesn't have a Speedo, which normally doesn't bother me, but I think Shay Lisi wants a Speedo. It doesn't have a Speedo, and it doesn't have brakes. So let's see if we can see how fast we're going, and then also decide to stop. <laughs> 
on the Green Goblin. I'm sorry, guys. Willem Dafoe's the Green Goblin to use its proper honorific. It still hasn't earned its other two titles yet, but I'm sure they'll be coming. As they say, a friend in need is a friend indeed. And when it comes to wiring, I am a friend in need. <laughs> and Shelby has those uh, has those skills. Now, I don't think anybody likes to do wiring, <laughs> but uh, that's why guys who are really good at it usually keep it to themselves. Unfortunately, Shelby's made the mistake of letting me know that he's good at it, so. <laughs> so Shelby's gonna get Shaylisi set up with a Speedo on this thing. We're gonna get that front fairing on. We got a different headlight for that. We're gonna get the brakes set up. There's no reason, I don't think there's any real reason that this motorcycle shouldn't be running and riding today. I mean, we already had it riding before. It was literally just the problem with the brakes that really held us back. And the fact that we do need to wire in the Speedo because as we said before, everyone who's freaking out about a couple of bare metal parts that weren't spray painted yet is essentially we're gonna put this bike back together and do like a couple month long shakedown run before we take it all back apart and then put uh, the final polish on it so it looks really good. We're having trouble getting this crater fairing on because of the way I had this headlight mounted and I figured out you actually needed a brow mount headlight. So this one was generously donated by one Weems Motor Co. off of his Dyna build, so that's going to go on there. And actually, I don't know if it was donated or not. I think I was supposed to pay him for it, and I just never did, so uh, we'll just call it a donation at this point, right? Right. We've got all our brake lines set up for Amazon hose. Much better quality stuff than that garbage you get from drag. Nothing wrong with drag specialties. There's plenty of stuff that they make that works just fine, but when it comes to trusting brake lines, I'll take Amazon hose any day of the week. Not related to the Sportster, but I got a fun surprise for the FXR in the mail from Gigastat Cycles, and that is a radial mount rear caliper. So it's a bracket that attaches to the stock FXR swing arm with a Tokiko radial mount caliper. And the rear brakes on the FXR, definitely the weak point on it. And if we're putting a 113 in this thing, wouldn't mind having these things back there. Of course, I've got ways to make it stop better now. Unfortunately, it's completely stopped. <laughs> it's like, right now, it doesn't need any brakes at all. But uh, we're, we're getting there. All right, we're getting there. Step one is the Green Goblin off the lift. Dude, Milliard got. Have you been watching his videos? Oh, yeah. This is like fucking a, a legend. Like, I'm yeah, like, you're just like making incredible. YouTube videos and you're actually good at it? <laughs> fucking like, incredible. Fuck, dude. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna tell her to take this uh, cylinder head and uh, put it on the vice here and cut two cylinders off. <laughs> With a fucking hacksaw. Yeah, I know, he's using fucking hand tools, dude. I'm like, every time I see a Brit doing shit, it's always like that, though, because their garage, like, where they're doing shit. Every grid is like that. It's like none of them have garages. They're all fucking sheds, dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna hey, go ahead and make a V twin out of this 50 cc Honda. Yeah. Yeah, I love watching the milliard stuff. It's crazy. So it's like I might feel bad. I, game. Well, no. Well, also like I might feel bad about shit sometimes about like my skill levels, but I'm like, dude, there's someone I think is fucking amazing. Who I think is like a fucking god. He's looking at this dude going like, man, I suck. <laughs> you know, everybody's got someone. Okay, maybe if you're good at wiring, this won't be scary to you. Here, move your hands. Um, but when I look at all of this and see that, like all of that has to be put together to make that tiny little speedometer work. All those things that Shelby just did. So, you know, maybe it's easy for you. And if it's easier for you, get, like good for you, okay? Yeah, eat a cookie, pat yourself on the back. It's not easy for me and this looks scary. Thank you, Shelby. <laughs> that looks scary and I'm glad I'm not in charge of it. Success. So far. But we haven't, we haven't run it yet, so we don't know if it does, tells the speed, but it lights up. That's something. You know what I mean, Will be? Does it have a... Yeah, it's got an indicator. It's not coming off, though. 
Yeah. All right, got a high beam indicator. <laughs> you see, this is the kind of thing that I would have been trying to figure out forever if I had ever even gotten this far. And I don't think I would have ever even gotten this far. You got a neutral light? Yep. Woo! We got a Speedo. We're about to have a gas tank. Man, we're brakes away from a motorcycle that's probably still dangerous. Feels good to bolt the tank on here and be like, well, this is staying on here for a minute. <laughs> on and off and never really bolted on right because you're like, ah, she's going to come off again. Like, no, man, it's going to fucking stay on here for a minute now. It's like, this bike's going to be ready. As I say that, it's going to be like, oh, well, and we have to take it right back. Though. Actually, why am I waiting? Let's just let's be like, oh, we'll do it later. I'm like, it's fine. Do it now, Josh. See, this is why you're a fucking, you get paid to do this. <laughs> and people, you get paid to do it and people laugh at me on the internet. Because I fucking got to do it twice. And we're not the same. You're a professional, I'm a clown. But we make a good team. Before you put that in there. Okay. You might have to take the tank back off. <laughs> See, this I should have opened my big mouth of like, the tank's going on here permanently now. Seconds later, the universe is like, that's what you get. It's, dude, it's, I just want to brag before it's done. That's what I always do. <laughs> I'm always like, right, I'm the guy who does a wheelie but right before the finish line and crashes. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's me. That's, I'm the guy that happens to. Who would ever do that? Who would do a wheelie and show off before they actually won the race? Me. That's you. I'm the guy. <laughs> I will not be that clumsy around the tank when it's painted. Should just not be clumsy around this shit on principle, but that's Shelby work. But the, the final assembly, that's 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 a Shelby job, not a Josh job. I got butterfingers when it comes to nice paint. Where does he get all those fabulous toys? Off, off the snap box, that's right. <laughs> Sold my soul. Beyond this step, it's consensual. <laughs> Next up, not only do we have a cool new derby cover to put on this thing, but this one is leaking for the last time I put it on. And it needs to be adjusted anyway, because we did put a hydraulic clutch on this thing. And normally, I'm not a fan of hydraulic clutches. You guys know that. I think that hydraulic clutches really have no place on a motorcycle. I don't care for them at all. But uh, I'm a full grown man and Shay has little tiny hands. So having a hydraulic clutch really helps her out. Anyway, the adjustment for this is different from a cable actuated clutch. So we got to pull it back off anyway. Not to mention, this awesome thing. I'll have the Instagram link of the guy who carved this, who uh, I engraved this down below. He made one for Shay and one for me too, for the for Bark Party. C -c 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 Custom. So I've never owned a sports before and Shelby clued me in on the nightmare that is putting on derby cover gaskets. Now that I know, I'm like, man, all you sportster guys have ever taken this cover off, especially if you're working on your bike and you've never really worked on it before and you don't know a lot about working on bikes, then you pull this thing off and try and get that gasket back on. I imagine there's a lot of frustrated dudes who have sports who have tried to do this before. Because I'm a frustrated dude, and I've only tried to do it once. This is obviously not working. And I don't think it's this crater fairing. I can't tell you how many people run that fairing. It's got to be those fucking hardware. That hardware. Like it was never turned off, man. Dude, that thing started right up. Someone's gotta be first. <laughs> Willem Dafoe's The Green Goblin rides once again. Got a couple little adjustments to make on the front brakes because they're dragging somewhere. A little bit of an adjustment to make on the clutch, but this bike is pretty much ready to roll. And that's the whole thing where everyone's like, where's the Green Goblin? Where's the Green Goblin? So everyone's gonna be like, oh, Shelby and Josh had to do this for you, which was mostly Shelby and much less Josh, much less Shea Tree Surgeon. But Shea Lisi pretty much did everything else on this bike. She really got it running just when it came to this last little push, everything had kind of gotten messed up and we've really been behind the eight ball for a lot of reasons that I'll go to into in a minute. 
and me and Shelby said, you know what? Let's just get this thing going. Let's finish up. Let's tie up these loose ends. Let's get this bike ready to actually ride. <laughs> well, the Gold Wing goes. It might even be as fast as the Sportster, but it doesn't feel as fast as, as Willem Dafoe's the Green Goblin, that's for sure. Cool. Definitely doesn't stop as good. Those performance machine calipers are really something special. I'm not gonna lie, it was nice to ride around the Green Goblin after it had spent that much time on the lift. Especially spending that much time on the lift when it literally wasn't, we didn't have to do that much to really get it going. I mean, me and Shelby really were only there for a couple hours and the, the vast majority of it was Shelby wiring it. But I did not wear a GoPro while I was riding it because you're gonna have to wait to see that on the Shaylisi channel, okay? I'm not going to do the first ride, the first GoPro ride on the Green Goblin on the Shade Tree Surgeon channel. That's Shaylisi exclusive stuff right now. And one of the reasons she wasn't at the shop with us right now is uh, she's taking a little bit of a mental health break. If you guys follow Shaylisi on Instagram or if you're part of her Patreon, you'll see that uh, she's just really going through it right now. She's having a really tough time, having some real, real uh, mental health issues. And I, the first thing when this, when this started up was I told her, like hey just like take a break from youtube i mean and not everybody's me i'm not really the take a break kind of guy <laughs> but uh also not everybody is me and i know that if you guys watch other creators i do i watch a lot i pretty much only watch youtube you'll see that that's a pretty common thing you see sometimes people just got to take a mental health break or i mean it's hard to create it's hard to be creative when you're not when you're not feeling creative, when you're feeling down on yourself, and it's hard to go out and have fun on video when you're not having fun inside your own head. So I told her, take a break, sit down, work on yourself for a little bit. I, and I know all you guys will be waiting there when she comes back. And what you have to look forward to now is when she comes back is Shay Lisi on Willem Dafoe's The Green Goblin when she makes her triumphant return to YouTube. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Until then, make sure you go subscribe to the Shay Lisi channel. Show her some support. Follow her on Instagram. Drop her a kind word. Say that to take her time, but you're excited to see her come back. And until next time, y'all. Keep it weird.